welcome back to another vlog welcome back to my channel my name is sarah if you're new today is october 22nd it is just about three o'clock very late start to the vlog i'm very sorry but i wanted to vlog the weekend bring you guys along we're going to be doing some fun fall activities tomorrow so i definitely wanted to vlog them all but today matt is actually at the penn state game his little brother plays for penn state so he went up to see him and I was actually supposed to go. I woke up this morning um, and I have just not been feeling the best this week, kind of a little bit under the weather, nothing too crazy, but I could tell my body was like screaming at me to just relax and rest. I am trying really, really hard to start listening to my body more. I think it's so important. Obviously, like I feel like I've been pushing myself so much lately. We're constantly going work has been really stressful the past few weeks and then youtube on top of all that it's just like a lot on my plate and we haven't had just a chill weekend at home in a really long time so i woke up this morning i had a pounding headache and i said you know what i'm gonna stay home i'm gonna have a sarah day relax do all the fun th fun stuff by myself and just give my body the rest that it so desperately needs i think it's really important to listen to your body when you're not feeling your best just to rest recoup all that kind of stuff it's just as important as getting out and like exercising and all that stuff obviously i'm not like doing nothing today i went on two small walks already i think i'm gonna bring frank on another walk a little bit later um i'm still moving my body i did work out this morning but just a go it driving four hours to penn state tailgating going into a night game when it's gonna be cold out sleeping there not in my own bed coming home no tomorrow morning it just was too much for me so i decided to stay home and just have a little sarah and frank weekend <laughs> right now i think i'm gonna do a little target run i think you saw most of my morning i really relaxed on the porch for a good part of the day did my workout took frank on a few walks and now about to run to target and do a little fun shopping i'm about to head out frank is looking at me like oh my gosh do not leave me right now he looks sad um but i just have this little flannel and this is from shein walmart tank and then i just have like black amazon leggings on really comfy cozy day definitely do not really love dressing up too much when i'm not doing all that much so comfy cozy it is time for our little car chats and my favorite parts of my vlogs i feel like i can so easily like talk to you guys especially when i'm sitting in my car i feel like that is the best time for me to just sit down and chat with you guys so i hope you guys like these kind of vlogs please let me know what you do like i my favorite vlogs that i like watch well um all my favorite youtubers like my favorite vlogs of theirs are just their like casual weekends at home chill vlogs and so I hope that's what you guys like from me. Please let me know down in the comments. And I also want to start chatting about possible Vlogmas ideas. I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing any type of Vlogmas from me. Um, if you guys don't know what Vlogmas is, it's pretty much just like the traditional Vlogmas is when a creator posts a video every single day um, from October for <laughs> from December 1st to December 25th, which is Christmas. I don't know if I would be able to handle that one so let me know if you guys would even like to see that uh, but I was also thinking maybe like every other day post a video or if you guys aren't interested at all let me know that too and I'll just stick to my Tuesday Friday upload schedule but I think I'm also going to post like a little poll of that on my channel because I really want to know if you would even be interested in seeing any sort of vlogmas from me or if two videos a week is plenty and it's like hard for you guys to even keep up with that because I know a lot of people <laughs> post YouTube videos and like you want to see all your favorite creators videos and not just like a video from me every single day of your life that might be over like too much for you guys so please let me know in the comments and I'm sorry this lighting is really really bad um, but yeah let me know love to hear from you guys so please leave a comment if you would care about vlogmas or all that stuff but i'm pretty much across the street it is hot out today my car says 82 i don't think that's right because it's been just sitting out in the sun matt just texted me that they got to penn state and i feel like that um validates my decision 
sorry it's really loud I feel like that just 100% validates my decision to not go to Penn State today um, like I was saying I was supposed to go and I just kind of woke up and was like I don't know if I'm feeling it and as soon as Matt walked out the door once I decided not to go I had instant like regret so I was like god dang um, but it's 3 o'clock they left at like 10 uh, Matt left, left our house at like 9 30 so I'm actually really happy I decided not to go now I just have to get through the night by myself and I'm really realizing I feel like I put on a lot of makeup for um, running to Target but I always feel like I put a little bit of makeup on I don't know why it looks so heavy right now made it to Target I'm excited these little ornaments are so cute can't believe Christmas stuff started yet and a lot of it it's all Christmas okay trying a few things on picked up these pair of jeans I think they're just like size 8 I tried the neck thing and hopefully these fit um, these comfy cozy pajama type pants in a brown color really cute and these sweatshorts are just a size medium they were on sale so I just will try them on and see all the Target trail mixes have my heart like so many of them are so good I think I like one of the ones for Easter like my favorite but I'm gonna try this caramel one and I'll let you know what I think about it I'm not gonna lie I feel like I didn't do all that great um I went in there trying to find like some clothes you saw me in the dressing room the jeans were so cute but they were like so beyond shore I don't i don't know it's like are they supposed to be that kind of like short length i don't really understand but they were really short and then like the slits that i would think are supposed to hit the knee was like in my th all my thigh it was kind of weird but i just picked up some snacks and things i need so i got some more caramels i actually bought some the other day we're making apple caramel covered apples caramel apples tomorrow and i ended up eating like most of the bag these ones are sea salt caramels but I really don't think that'll matter too much and then I got a little tiny thing of like their cookie dough ice cream the it's like their halo top brand for Target so it's favorite day 370 calories per pint uh, cookie dough ice cream so this will be a little fun snack while I'm chilling at home tonight um, watching tell me lies I recently got into that show and I'm like on episode 5 or something so I know I'm gonna be chilling in bed eating this tonight so I also picked up some salted butter uh, I got this little like pre pack pre mixed pack of cookie dough I'm gonna bring that over to Matt's family's house tonight so all you need is butter and water hopefully those turn out okay um, and then I got this caramel trail mix it comes with caramel flavored coated pretzel balls butter toffee peanuts caramel flavored confetti cups uh, white chocolate caramel flavored chips and chocolate chunks so I'm actually gonna try this right now and see how it is and the last thing I picked up are just some wheat thins because uh, I bought cheese like a big square of cheese at Walmart the other night and I forgot crackers to put it on so got that Let's see how this is I'm the type of person that likes to eat every individual piece like separately Isn't that weird mmm these little caramel flavored coated pretzel balls these are yummy it's very very caramel forward which is fun but I feel like adding a little bit more chocolate in would be better just because this is not something like I would be able to sit and eat for a long time but yummy I mean I guess it's probably better just have a few pieces and then put it away because that is not healthy. I always say that I think it's funny that they call that trail mix because like when you think of trail mix, you think of something that's like healthy. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, I know there's like usually like an M&M or some type of chocolate in it, but for the most part, it's just like nuts and raisins or something like that. And then like this trail mix is just a bunch of sugar pretty much, but it's a fun treat every once in a while. They're Easter one called bunny bait is my favorite one <laughs> when it comes around to Easter time you guys have to try that one out that one's like the best Nothing 
myself a little session got gas um, Matt called me and they found some like family friends to tailgate with which is really nice that was one of the things I was nervous about if I went and I'm getting like FOMO like I got FOMO as soon as he left I was like oh I don't know if I should go and now I have more FOMO but I know I made the right decision I just have to keep saying that nice relaxing night with my Frank is all I need so huh, hopefully he just has a fun time and all that stuff game starts in a few hours it's already how is it? It's already four. Um, so the game starts in like three and a half hours. They'll probably head it in like three hours. So definitely a long day of walking around. They said they had to walk like so many miles to get to this tailgating spot. I am going to start making these cookies. I think it's like super, super easy. I just got one of these bags. I went to the Dollar Tree today. Um, just one of these little bags of cookie dough. And it says you need half a stick of butter, which <laughs> seems like a lot of butter, um, and a tablespoon of water. So gonna make these, bring them over. I thought it like a fun little baking activity. Really easy to make these too because it's a bag. You add two ingredients to it. Um, so I just thought that'd be a little fun thing to do. While I'm sitting here, I'm debating if I should bring Frank or not. Matt's family freaking adores Frank. And every single time I walk in that house without Frank, they're like, where is Frank? Like that's all we care about <laughs> is Frank. <laughs> and I completely understand because that's all I care about too. Um, but he's just kind of a pain in the ass when we're eating dinner. He does not know his manners very well. So he like jumps and especially when there's a lot of people around, he uh, like barks even a little bit at their house. Not necessarily here, but he does bark when we're at other people's houses eating, which is really bad. And I just didn't train him well enough when he was a puppy. So. It's also freaking warm as anything in my house right now. My house has all these beautiful front windows, um, these bay windows, and then this door. Um, but it heats up like crazy because the sun is just like beating right into the house. So it is currently 78 degrees in my house right now. And I think it's only like a high of 71 today. So it's just like a freaking sauna in here. So I'm gonna strip some layers <laughs> and Look how cute my Frank is. I literally can't get over this dog. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi, mama. Hi. You're a little messy. I gave you a bath yesterday and I did not brush you properly. I just pulled the cookies out. I have no idea what I did to these things, but they look awful. <laughs> I really don't think I can even bring them to Matt's family's house. They like, I don't know, they all like burnt. They're like, yeah, ugh. Interesting. I'm, it might be like the mix. It kind of like was gritty and weird. I'm gonna go ahead and say don't get that mix from the Dollar Tree. It kind of just like grabbed my attention when I was in line. I was like, oh, fun little thing I could bring over for dinner, but these look awful so i'm gonna have to say pass i don't even know if i'll eat these it was a dollar and some butter so i'm not too worried about it but they they don't look good so what do you think Frank? just laying you match the carpet 
You match. I love you so much. Can you tell that we're going in the car? You're sitting right here. Can you tell? Do you know that we're going in the car? <gasps> what are we doing? Where are we going? Ah! <laughs> He's refusing to walk because we just went to the house. No one was there. Yes, we had to go laugh. And <laughs> he's like, I know where we are. I want to go in that house. Ready? Do you know where we are, Frank? Nothing like your smile in the morning. Following the linings on your cheek. It is just about nine o'clock, and I just got back. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. But um, I just got back from Matt's family's house. We ate dinner and then watched the football game that I was supposed to be at because obviously there's some plays. I'm gonna wash my face. I've still been using my CeraVe face cleanser. It's my favorite, it's the hydrating. Oh. I usually wash my face in the shower, but it is the hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin. I would consider my skin to be kind of dry. Um, especially during the winter months. So, this I've been really liking. I've been using it for quite some time now. And it's been really good for my skin so far. I feel like I'm already like starting to spook myself for being here alone tonight. I don't really, I don't really like being alone at night. I just like really think too much about every single little noise I hear. And that is not good when you live in a townhouse because there's a lot of noises. Obviously, like, I can hear my neighbors all the time. And, like, I know it's my neighbors. But being alone at night, I'm still going to be, like, freaking out. Hopefully, I can just, like, kind of drown out the noise. I'll have my fan on really loud. Another thing about me is um, I cannot fall asleep without the noise of a fan on. And I don't mean, like, ceiling fan because those, like, don't make enough noise for me. I need, like, a full-on box fan on every single night. And Matt <laughs> didn't like it in the beginning. He's definitely gotten used to it. Um, but that is my little trick to help me fall asleep, especially when I'm home alone. I'm about to get myself some of that ice cream I bought, um, the chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. I already made myself a cup of tea, and I'm gonna get straight in bed because I am exhausted. This whole, the whole reason I stayed home today was just to get more rest, so getting in bed super early tonight. I'm gonna get in bed, watch Tell Me Lies on Hulu. I'm like five episodes in, and I've really been liking it, so I'm gonna keep watching that and just have a fun little Sarah night. So that is the plan. Hopefully I can fall asleep at a decent hour and not keep myself like thinking all night. I keep hearing Frank like moving on the bed and it's freaking me out. So that's how much of a spaz I am pretty much with this kind of stuff. I really don't like being alone at night. Happy Sunday guys. It is quite late in the day now. It's already two o'clock. I woke up and did my F45 workout and then I honestly went straight back into bed and laid there and watched YouTube videos for hours because I'm exhausted. I got no sleep last night. I was panicking, like freaking out the whole night. I had to fall asleep with my fan blasting and Gilmore Girls blasting because I was overthinking every little noise I heard and I just don't like sleeping alone it freaks me out so I didn't really sleep that well and I was exhausted it was disgusting out this morning too so I was like I'm just gonna get back in bed relax for a little and have a chill day Matt got home like an hour ago two hours ago maybe um and we've just been like laying in bed he's been watching football and we're both exhausted he had obviously a long day so that is what's been up really nothing uh, but we're about to take Frankie on a walk. I just got this little sweatshirt from Matt. He had a bunch of sweatshirts at his parents. And his sister found this one and was wearing it. And he got it back from her. And now I'm going to live in it. Because I love these sweatshirts. These football sweatshirts. They're so comfy. Um, so that is about it for right now. I look ghostly. I don't know if it's the camera making me look like that. Or if I really look like this right now. But um, we're about to take Frank on a walk. Because he hasn't been out for like a walk yet today. So that's the plan. But I did want to give a little update on these nails. If you saw the last vlog, I'll link it. I don't know if it actually is the last vlog. I did my own gel polish with Nail Reserve gel polish that they sent me. And it has been 10 days exactly. And my nails still look like brand new. This one, unfortunately, I did um, break it. But the polish didn't come off or anything. I just broke my nail because obviously 
my nails aren't as strong as they used to be with acrylic and I'm still like being as rough with my hands but that's the only nail that's broken and it's not even that awful um but they look really good so I'm really impressed with these polishes and I'm excited to keep trying the other colors um but Matt and I are about to head on a little walk with Frank I'm gonna put on some oil with oil took Frank on a little walk. It's like the walk we do every day. It's only like 25 minutes. But that was pretty good. And now we're actually going to walk. Matt and I are going to go walk to the giant that's right down the street. I think I want to stock up on more cans of soup. And I want to get like a big baguette that I can cut into little sections and throw them in the freezer. So every time I do have soup and like want to dip it, I just can pull like a little chunk of bread out of the freezer and warm it up in the oven. So that's the plan i also might get some like more toppings for our pizza tonight i really like plain pizza so i think i'm just gonna do like mozzarella on one side and pepperoni on the other but i want to get some basil just to throw on the mozzarella side and just see what else oh, tickles plain to me Got three toppings plain pizza though considering what you're gonna make is probably gonna be like everything you could possibly find on a pizza are you going to get any more veg for it, like a pepper or onion or anything? We are back. Got a whole bunch of stuff. That was heavy. Woo! Okay. Show you what we got. I did get a French baguette. I'm gonna cut that into like little chunks and just throw it in like a freezer bag. We also got two, two liters of Diet Coke. I'm gonna try my best to stop going to McDonald's every day. I literally hate like liters of soda because it like goes kind of flat, but I feel like I need to chill on the going out and getting a soda like once or twice a day. It's getting a little bit, um, a little crazy. Matt got an onion and a green pepper for his pizzas. And then I picked up some basil for the pizza too. And then here's where we get a little crazy. Um, creamy chicken noodle. Uh, we got a lot of creamy chicken noodles. I got this one. Oh, Matt might have got this one. I don't know. Chicken corn chowder, you? Chicken noodle. This one you got for sure, right? Sirloin burger with country vegetables. Oh yeah. Lots of crazy soups. Spicy chicken and sausage gumbo. I like the normal gumbo, so I'll go. Chicken noodle. I got another creamy chicken noodle, creamy chicken noodle, and another spicy sirloin burger. But that is our soup haul. <laughs> I've been eating soup like crazy. I think I had it like three or four times this week because I'm obsessed. So this will um, supply us for a long time and the reason we stocked up so much is because they were having a deal um it was three for five dollars and they're usually like almost three dollars for one of them so we saved like twelve dollars on the soups so i was like we're stocking up we're getting all the soups now and then we won't have to go out for a little bit so i'm gonna put all this away cut up my bread put it in the freezer and relax for a little bit and i'll see you guys in a little hands but we all grow old can't have my soul let my heart turn stone guess i gotta say it twice it ain't my fault every little thing got a price that's what i thought that's what they thought. excuse the way i am looking i actually kind of took a little cat nap i think matt did too we were watching football and i kind of just passed out but matt is still watching football and i am ready to eat i'm like starving we're gonna do the pizzas now uh i just bought two so that's what we're doing I bought two of these. I organized this a few vlogs ago and look how much soup I have collected now. This is starting to fill up again. But here are the pizza dough um, thingies that I bought. There's two of them, so we're each gonna make one. I don't know if I need a full one, but I will just save it for like lunches or something. 
So I have this. And then what else did we buy in here for our pizza? Matt got um, mushrooms. We just got a jar of sauce right here. Pizza sauce, just like the Walmart brand. I forget what else. What else did we buy, Matt? Oh, the onion, all the stuff that's on the counter over there. And cheese, I think. That's it. I'm, oh, pepperoni. Where? Okay, found the pepperonis. Got a very massive bag. I'm just doing shredded mozzarella. I was thinking of doing like a ball of mozzarella and doing more of a margarita pizza, but we didn't do that. So and then we got some pepperoni. So we're going to start our little creations and just have a little fun time with it. I feel like this is the best activity for dinners when you have kids. Like I'm so excited to do this when we have kids and just have a whole bunch of toppings out and each kid can make their own pizza. Like I feel like that's going to keep them entertained, get dinner out of the way and like be fun for everyone. So this is definitely like a really good dinner idea if you have little kids and want to keep them occupied and have them help with dinner and all that kind of stuff. I'm very excited to do that one day. Sorry if you can hear the TV, but I'm just going to do a little bit of olive oil on both of them. Matt is cutting up his um, other ingredients right now. We finished our creations. Obviously this one is mine, the plain one. <laughs> I just did a little quadrant of pepperoni and then the rest is mozzarella and basil. I did a little uh, Italian seasoning on there too and then Matt's is crazy. He did half pepperoni, mushrooms, peppers, onions, basil, and this side doesn't have any pepperoni on it. I think that's the only difference, but this side has everything. <laughs> One this side is, doesn't have pepperoni or mushroom. Or mushroom. No mushroom on the side either. But like, can you just tell the difference? Like how much of a picky and plain eater I am compared to that. But these look really fun and I'm excited. Okay guys, pizza is out of the oven. It looks really yummy. I think I realized that I was supposed to put the basil on after. I cooked it, so it was like all shriveled up. I just honestly took them off and replaced the basil. But besides that, it looks so yum. Here is Matt's pizza. And <laughs> look at Frank. It's time to carve this bad boy. I just started cutting the pumpkin open. I got all like the stuff out. But the inside of our pumpkin's actually like molding and like rotting. So I usually love making pumpkin seeds. Obviously, I unfortunately am not gonna be able to do that. I'm just gonna carve it and put it on the porch and I'll throw it away in a week when um, Halloween comes around because I don't think it is safe to eat those, unfortunately. It's like my favorite thing to do is to make pumpkin seeds. I always make them with just like um, olive oil and some salt and I put them in the oven. Um, but I've actually also done like cinnamon sugar ones. I don't like them as much, but we have done those ones. But I'm sad because our pumpkin is not a good pumpkin. So maybe we just got it too early and waited too long to do it. I don't really know. Um, but oh well, that is 
not the end of the world. We just won't have pumpkin seeds. So gonna carve this really fast. Matt doesn't really want to. He's tired from his travel. So I think I'm just gonna do like a simple little design. Not really sure what I want to do yet. But I really love like doing stuff like this. So I'm gonna have some fun with this. And then we'll make caramel apples probably in like half hour. So since I really want something simple, I think I just looked up on Pinterest. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Looks really easy and probably can't mess it up too bad. So. Two, three. I think it looks pretty good and spooky. Obviously, my eyes aren't great, but I think it looks really fun. It took me like 10 minutes, so I'm happy with it. Gonna have this lip for, for a little, but I'm really sad about my pumpkin seeds being moldy because I really wanted them. So I might go get another pumpkin and carve it again just so I can have pumpkin seeds because this literally took me five minutes. No, it's like literally not perfect at all, but I think that's the fun of it. Now the pumpkin is done. We are going to uh, make some caramel apples, but gotta get all the stuff out for that. The only sticks I have for them are like skewers, so hopefully they're not too skinny. But I'm gonna get the apples out. We bought three apples, one green, two honey crisps. And I'm just gonna melt the caramel in the microwave. I've honestly never even made caramel apples before, or I don't even know if I've had one to be honest. Uh, I think I've had one before, but I bought a bunch of fun things. I just thought it was like a fun activity. So I did buy some caramels. I got some extra yesterday, so I'm gonna use these first. And then I got some like little fun Halloween colored sprinkles. And I got M&Ms because mini M&Ms on like any dessert is my favorite thing ever. So I think I'm gonna do M&Ms on one of mine. I don't know what the hell is that. Okay. So I'm gonna melt these in the microwave really fast. I really have no idea how many I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna just do that with a little bit of cream and then we'll start dipping our apples. So I have my caramel all melted. Matt's putting the sticks in the apples. Our skewers are a little bit um, like floppy, so they're not really... No, I think this is enough. Let's just try it, ready? I think I wanna bring you guys down. Okay. It's gonna go like that. Oh, Frank. That's good. Our next apple, I think we decided we're just gonna do two. Cause we really don't need three apples between the two of us. But, here we go. It's so sticky. <laughs> I'd love to know how many people like do this every year. If you guys make caramel apples like as a thing, <laughs> let me know. I've never done this before. And honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot more like aesthetically pleasing. It's really hard to get the caramel out of the bowl. I'm not gonna lie. That was the messiest thing ever and they <laughs> don't look cute at all. I tried my best to make them aesthetically pleasing, but you know, this is how they turned out. I guess I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a little and then we'll eat them tonight or tomorrow or... It was fun, it just <laughs> thought it was gonna be a lot less messy and would be like easier to dip them and make them look cute and like, I feel like I was just struggling. If I was doing it wrong, let me know. But we just did one each, I feel like that's plenty. And a fun little treat for Halloween. I put the apples in the fridge just for a few minutes but Matt and I are gonna try them now so I'm gonna grab them. I honestly don't know if you're supposed to put them in the fridge but they really look a hot mess so <laughs> I feel like they're not even gonna come off the paper plate. Is it good? I haven't tried it yet. I'm like not hungry at all after our pizza. I'm not hungry either I just want to have a little bit of it and then I'll save it for tomorrow. Okay you come on this side of me. Come Look at this. This is ridiculous. I know. I don't know how people do it. Okay. Ready? How do you even go into this? <laughs> oh, nice. I just got all the caramel off. I didn't know how. Not bad. I broke my sticks. <laughs> I 
Ну, за Б. So I'm just gonna keep snacking on this little apple for a minute, but I think we're going to end the vlog here and just like hang out for the rest of the night. I think we're gonna put on an episode of like Survivor before the next football game comes on, because it's what time is it? 7.40 right now. And we got some time. I think we're gonna go to bed early because we're both really tired from this weekend and just hang out. So if you guys are not already, make sure you subscribe, stick around. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.